This is a CBS News report. I'm Tony DeCopel in New York. The Supreme Court has just made a big decision on President Trump's financial records. Our Jan Crawford has seen the ruling the first of two weeks back today. It came out just moments ago. Jan, good morning to you. The president has resisted a longstanding tradition of releasing his tax returns to the public. Is today's decision going to change that? Not necessarily, Tony, but this is a major defeat for President Trump. He was trying to block the Manhattan district attorney from getting his tax returns and potentially other financial documents. The district attorney, Cyrus Vance, was investigating potential hush money payments that the Trump campaign made to some women, including Stormy Daniels. The president argued in the courts very broad-based constitutional issues that presidents were absolutely immune from any criminal prosecution while they were in office. The Supreme court today rejected that argument, rejected his broad-based arguments with a vote of seven to two. The decision was written by the Chief Justice John Roberts, joined uh, in the judgment by the president's two appointees, uh, Justices Neil Gorsuch and Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito uh, filed a dissent saying that this would harm the presidency because it would allow state grand juries, uh, and there are 2,300 local district attorneys to conduct political dragnets on a president. Uh, but the ruling today means that President Trump's broad arguments are rejected. He can now go back to the court and make specific arguments about why this subpoena to his accounting firm would be onerous, would impede his duties as president to comply with that. That's a difficult argument for the president to make. This grand jury well may well get these records 